Hello friends, welcome to another video in the Take Better Photos channel. Today we'll have an interesting one as we're going to be comparing two noise removal softwares which make use of AI. And they're fairly recent releases and they both claim to be the best in what they do. And so we're going to put those claims to the test. So despite the advances in camera technology, if you take photos in low light, or at night, noise is still gonna be a problem, especially in raw photos, which don't have the benefit of the noise reduction that you get in JPEG. However, because of the advent of AI, noise removal is getting better and better, just like any other aspect of image editing. And so we have these two softwares. They're very well-reviewed softwares. Okay, so let's start off with DxO's latest technology called Deep Prime. This was launched in 2020. They say the results are spectacular. DxO Deep Prime removes noise and recovers information without losing detail in the image's colors, creating even more natural transitions. And it is a big improvement, they say, over the previous release, which was DxO Prime. Deep Prime is available under the DxO Photo Lab 5 Elite Edition. You can see here it costs around 219 USD, but you get the entire suite of tools. And if you've seen my previous video on the top five raw editors, uh, you know that I put DxO Photo Lab as number one because of its very capable raw editing feature set and performance. But we're going to look specifically at their noise reduction in this video. And you can find this price lower in certain sales throughout the year, like in a Black Friday sales and the like. So that's DxO Deep Prime. So we're going to be comparing DxO to on one no noise AI. So as you can see from their website, they claim that they are the best noise reduction for photos. On one no noise AI was launched in 2022 this year. So as you can see here, on one no noise claims that they are the gold standard for image noise removal. They say their software quickly removes noise and gets the sharpest details. They also claim that the AI intelligently removes all the image noise while intelligently recovering and enhancing details. So on one no noise is a standalone product, but it also integrates with their on one photo raw 2022 software. So as you can see here, the price is around uh, 70 USD, but right now it's on sale. So that's one lesson when buying software, you can wait till they lower the price during sale season, and uh, you can get it for much lower than the standard price. So before we do the comparison of the results, let's look at how to use each software so we can get an idea of the user experience. As you can see here, I've opened up the image in DxO, DxO will sometimes apply the noise reduction automatically. So to adjust that or to toggle that on or off, you can go into this detail button right here. Just click on that. So as you can see here, you have an option for high quality prime and deep prime. Now deep prime is only applicable for raw images. This will not work on a JPEG. So that's another reason why you want to shoot raw. If you like any of these noise reduction technologies, these really work with raw files. Even though high quality supports JPEG, the results are really not good. So I would not recommend both DxO and On1 for JPEG raw, uh, noise reduction. It just doesn't look, it just doesn't have the same effect and it doesn't work as well as even uh, editors from uh, Affinity or Lightroom. But for raw, there is a big difference. As you can see here, I'm going to be zooming onto this image. This one has no noise reduction applied. So it's, it's pretty noisy. So. What I'm going to do is just toggle on the noise reduction here and it's set to deep prime so you can see the difference right there. And it works pretty fast. So what we're looking for in noise reduction is the fact that it keeps the details and the color or even recovers the color while blurring out the, the ugly noisy parts. Right. So it's a difficult problem and that's why this typically is a very intensive process if you want to do it right. There are some options. If you find that it was too much, you can adjust this luminance slider right here and see that it does work. But that's basically it. In my usage, I do find that I rarely even use this slider. I just toggle it on and let the software do its magic. It does a pretty good job without me touching anything. So that's how you use the DX05 noise reduction. So let's move on to on one. So now let's demonstrate how to use on one no noise. So first you want to open the image in ON1 2022. 
so basically what you want to do is to click the edit button and just make sure to click this nav button here what you can do here is just tap on the title to collapse it right if it is open so you can see you can collapse open panels just like this if you have the tone panel open you just want to collapse that and you do, what you want to do is look for this noise and sharpening panel all right so for noise and sharpening when you click on that you'll see the panel open you can scroll a little bit higher here and you can see that the option for no noise ai will be available what we're going to do here uh, in this noisy image okay and it is noisy so let's just zoom in i'm going to exaggerate the zoom so that you can really see the noise it may not be clear in if you're viewing this from a television okay so i'm just going to exaggerate it and you can see that the noise is pretty prevalent no it's a high, high iso image so all you need to do is click no noise ai here and there you go so you can see the difference you can also click this preview button here to compare and you can really see the difference no noise ai does have some controls you can see it's usually going to be maxed out especially the kind of images i'm giving it pretty extremely noisy images so you can see that the luminance is maxed out you can drag that like so if you want but that's good to have but you can see that the noise reduction was very good was excellent in fact she was able to retain the detail in the hair here while smoothing it out the face no noise ai has a standalone version so you see this is the standalone version so you could also open photos here you have the image actually opened up in the standalone version of on one as you load it right you can see that the same noise reduction has been applied so there's a few reasons why i'd recommend the integrated version rather than the standalone version first thing is with the integrated version you get to enjoy the raw capabilities of on one right so for example this is the integrated version right it's integrated into on one 2022 if i want to develop it so if i want to adjust the temperature here it will actually do a great job it has very great raw editing tools so i prefer this integrated version because you have the very simple and efficient raw workflow rather than here in the standalone version you don't have much editing controls here that's one thing and second you want to do further raw editing you'd have to export it okay so for example in this case if i have to export it you see that it's going to be exporting in either a a dng or a jpeg and it won't be the same format as the original raw so i'm always concerned about compatibility issues it might not have the same results as if it was in the original arw file so those are the main considerations why i'd rather you you would use the integrated version and that you can be sure that you are still dealing with the original raw format okay so that is for on one so now let's compare the results between DxO and on one's noise reduction. all right so those were the results i hope the effect of the noise reduction was visible in that slideshow it was very visible in the mac i was using but 
as I said, when translated to a, a television, maybe the, the noise might not show as well. I won't know that until I actually see the video on my large TV, but I'm looking at it in a Mac right now. So I have a few thoughts on both of these softwares. So first thing to say before anything else, both On One and DxO's noise reduction are excellent, right? They far surpass traditional noise reduction noise reduction tools which don't use AI. So the use of AI here really does provide a significant advantage. That's the first thing I'm going to say. So these are both excellent implementations. That being said, among the softwares, On One No Noise is better in my opinion at recovering detail in shadows, even those noisy shadow areas. So as you can see, even in the girl's hair here, you can see that uh, you know the detail is nicely maintained while her, her face is actually blurred. So their AI is very smart about this aspect. So that's what I say, I would say the strength of On One No Noise is. With regards to DxO, I think the main strength of DxO would be the colors that it produces. So if you notice from, from this raw image, you can see the, the noisy image. This is around a, a perhaps 50,000 ISO image. You can see the noise and the contrast. You can see that the color and contrast looks very faded and it loses a lot of contrast and that's because of the noise and I would say that DxO it had, does a better job of recovering the color or enhancing the color whatever you want to call it and recovering the contrast as well so it almost seems like this was an image taken with a low ISO so DxO's technology of recovering color I think is much better so given both on one and DxO are excellent which one of these two would I recommend if I had to choose one? Well, I would choose DxO for two reasons. First, their noise reduction is greater. So as you can see from this image, On One does take care to maintain the details. But to my eyes here, looking at a MacBook screen, I can see the noise in the background much more significantly. Now, of course, in normal viewing distance, this will not be very, this will not be visible. This has been zoomed a great deal already. Right. And you have to remember that the noise is still significantly reduced. So compared to the original, On One did a fantastic job of removing the noise and maintaining the detail. But that being said, compared to DxO, DxO's noise reduction is much smoother. And from a personal standpoint, I prefer the, the smooth look of uh, DxO. The way they smooth the noise out, I think is better, even though the detail I find on On One is slightly better. The second reason I would recommend DxO is because of the colors. As you can see here from the original image, you know, the colors are very flat right? and it loses contrast. Um, on One, of course, does a great job of, of reducing the noise and the like and keeping the detail. I would say though that the colors of uh, DxO seem a bit more vibrant and uh, the images have more contrast and the colors are a little bit more natural. So for example, if this was the original image and this is on one's image so you can see the colors are a little bit uh, i would say too saturated whereas dxo maintained a more natural look um, in the color so that is just uh, a personal preference and finally the final reason i would recommend dxo is the performance is faster and the interface is simpler to use so as i've said I'm, i do use an old macbook pro and dxo runs smoothly even the noise reduction it runs pretty well even on a very slow machine. For On One, I would recommend a much faster machine or the experience might be a, a little bit frustrating, at least the last time I've used it. So that's all I have to say about DxO and On One. Excellent tools for noise reduction. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please help us keep the videos coming by liking, subscribing, and sharing our content. And if you have your own opinions about On One, No Noise, or DxO, uh, D Prime, or any other noise reduction software, I'd like to hear about that in the comments below. So till the next video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.